Hi, this is Leo here from Leoka Creative and welcome to another one of our videos that uh, you can find here on YouTube or on um, IGTV, etc. So today we're going to do some nail art. I've already extended my nails and filed them into this uh, stiletto shape and I have painted them with the Nail Me gel polish in the colour Figwort, which you can see is this uh, lovely deep dark uh, shimmery red colour. Um, but we're going to add some nail art to them because uh, I get bored easily, you know what I'm like. So we're going to use uh, this colour, which is the Eagle from the Nebula collection, which is a magnetic colour. Um, and we're also going to use Rosette, which is uh, a red shimmery magnetic colour, also from the Nebula collection. It is lighter than the figure, so you'll be able to see it. Uh, we're also going to use citrine as well, which is a uh, lovely, like yellowy gold uh, glitter gel polish. So um, we're also going to use the Nail um magnetic wand. This is what sort of pushes the magnetic gel polish around the nail so you can create uh, lovely shapes and different dimensions and what have you. So, um, yeah, first of all, we are, I'm going to use um, the eagle on uh, one of my nails. Um, so, what we're going to do here is uh, just put um, a nice liberal coat on the area that I want the polish to be. make sure you get quite a you know a, a decent amount on there so that it can move around if you just if you if you're quite sparse with it it doesn't work great so you get your magnet now you're going to hover it we hover it over the magnetic polish and as you can see it's moving it into the center so it's taking it away from the area that I'm um, hovering the magnet over this magnetic polish is really cool because you can really create um, all sorts of different effects with it. I will be doing some more videos using the magnetic polishes um, to show you the different shapes um, you can create and the different finishes and the different looks. So yeah, I'm just moving it around until I get like the desired um, effect that I want. I really kind of just want um, maybe like a line down the middle. Um, I'm just showing you this with the smaller end of the wand at the moment to show you, you know, how, how it can be used. You can also try the, uh, like, rectangular side of the magnet, which will actually move it sort of faster and in, like, more of a uniform state so it create like more clean lines the the smaller end of the wand is more for just smaller sections I'll show you this now with the uh, rectangular larger side of the wand you can see it you can create like cleaner lines moving it right into the middle that's kind of what we want really Okay, so you cure that under a nail lamp for 30 seconds and then we're going to go in with the rosette which is the uh, lighter red shimmery magnetic colour by Nail Camille as well. So I'm just going to put this in the area where I've missed out and overlap it a little bit onto the uh, eagle colour here. Again, um, do quite a liberal coat so there's enough to move around with the magnet. And then we're going to go back in with the magnet again um, and just move it around slightly. I don't really want it in any particular shape, I just want it to sort of blend in a little bit better so it's all multi-tonal. move it more towards the center a bit so it does show a little bit of the uh, fig wall underneath as well so we're going to cure that again for 30 seconds um, 
you don't need to put any more coats on it that's just enough so there you go that is basically what it looks like at this stage like so and then we're going to go in straight away with the uh, citrine which is from the precious stones collection at nail Chemie. and this is a really nice color it's very very highly pigmented and glittery so i want to create like an ombre so i'm going to put it on sparingly first and dot it around and up the nail more towards the middle none at the top do that and kind of like go a bit higher in places first as you can see I'm just pushing it up not doing it in like one straight line because you want to create an ombre feel and then I'm coming towards the point of the nail making sure it's like that and again we cure for around 30 seconds so after we've cured um for 30 seconds again under the nail lamp it looks like this so uh it is really nice and pretty you can see the eagle color and the rosetta color underneath but we are going to do another coat but we're going to concentrate more um at the tip of the nail so that that area is fuller and has more coverage of the citrine so it creates that sort of ombre put a little bit in uh, other areas dotted around if you want to again again we then cure again because you have to cure each stage um, 30 seconds really does do for this polish it's quite fast curing uh, some nail lamps you may have to um, do for more like a minute but uh, my nail lamp's pretty fast so and then I'm going to do one more coat here just to make sure we've got a really good coverage at the end again creating that uh, ombre look and when I'm happy with it I'll cure for a final time So yeah, after that is cured, it looks like this. You can see we've got an ombre effect. It's more concentrated down at the tip of the nail and then obviously it sort of filters off, not being so strong, but you can still see the eagle and rosette color on that. So then we seal with this non-wipe top coat, which means that when it's cured, it's not tacky or sticky. So you don't have to use a wipe solution. So uh, a nice even layer of this goes on and it actually makes it even more shiny as you can see so pop this on and then again cure again in your nail lamp so now we are going to work on another nail and do a different design like on this one um, we're going to use the uh, Artisan uh, Gel Paint in Gold, again by Nail Chemie, because that's who we use. And I'm going to use a really, really fine liner brush here. Very, very fine liner you need for this, because it's quite a detailed design I want to do. You'll probably see it more when I do this here. So this is what the Artisan Gel Paint looks like. It's quite a thick gel and I love the colour and it matches the Citrine Glitter Gel Polish as well, which is exactly what I want for this particular design. So using our fine liner brush, we are now going to do a design. Now, obviously, excuse the uh, position my hand is in, but I'm trying to do this on myself, so it's pretty difficult. Um, we're going to um, get a little bit of the gel paint and we're going to do a semicircle right in the middle of the nail here, like so. Be very careful, try and get it quite neat. 
Um, obviously, it's a little bit harder doing it on yourself. If you were doing uh, this design on someone else, it would be a lot easier. Or on a um, uh, tip, you know, just to show design. So we can do that, tidy it up where necessary. So it looks like this. And then we are going to go in and do the same the other side on one of the sides like so just like a replica of it again try and get it as neat as possible it doesn't have to be well it has to be as identical as possible but obviously you've got less space there then we're going to do on the other side as well and like this Again, neaten up where you need to, and it looks like this. So we've cured that for 30 seconds again. And then we're going to go in between each semicircle, like this. So you start in the middle of the first one and do the same shape that will lead to the middle of the next one, like so. You can always go back in later and neaten up if, if you need to. And do the same the other side. So I suppose it's kind of like laying bricks, alternate pattern. So we do that. And then we do one either side, again from the middle to right to the end this time. It's quite intricate work, but as I said before, it is a lot easier doing this design on someone else. This is a awkward angle, so excuse the angle of the uh, camera because obviously like I said to you before I had to do this on my phone resting on a um, acetone bottle because I'd forgot all my equipment this morning okay so again neaten up where you need to looks like that So we're just going to do like a, a third layer to this. Uh, we are going to do all the way to the end, um, but obviously each stage it just looks really different and you can see it all coming together. So again, following like the brick clay pattern if you like, if that makes any sense at all to anyone, but it, it, it does to me. So again, just carry on with the uh, semicircles. And obviously like every sort of line we do, we add more on because there's like more surface area on the nail. And as we get to the end, we do less because obviously the nail gets thinner towards the end. But you will see like when it's done that it all comes together really nicely. I'm only uh, decorating two nails on my hand just to add that bit of colour. Last one here now. So can you see? Maybe it's easier if I uh, paint it this way for you. That'd be easier for me, actually, <laughs> to do it this way. Again, you know, always like try and neaten up before you cure, but you can always go back in again and neaten up. So yeah, we carry the pattern all the way down and this is basically what it looks like at the end. 
a little bit like a honeycomb, I guess. This before we've done the other the other nail with the citrine glitter in the nebula colours. But yeah, I think this uh, gold uh, artisan gel paint as well, this colour goes really nicely with the citrine. They just look really nice together. Um, I like the fact that I'm just doing two nails because it just makes them stand out. So obviously we're going to go in with um, a top coat just to seal. It's non-wipe top coat. Remember guys, you can use whatever products you want, but I just like the nail Nailcomy products. Um, I just think they really have a great range of colours, really easy to work with, um, good quality, and last long. So yeah, so that is basically my nail design and I will now show you a few pictures of um, the completed design on both hands. Thanks guys.